Yeah, so, so we do a punt team period pretty much every single day. It's a lot about protection, actually. Um, I could honestly get my work anywhere. It's nice to have the rush and seeing people come around you and stuff like that come at you. But it's about the protection because people are so good at, you know, scheming up different things on punt return. And it's the same thing for the punt return guys. It's getting those guys reps um, and seeing what they can do also. Like, I know you do some holding as well. And right. The brothers keeping on stuff. <laughs> How much um, has the chemistry been with you? Have you and Will had a chance to do anything? Yeah, I've game? worked with Will a lot. Um, obviously got reps last year in camp. Worked with him a, a bunch of times this off season, um, during mini camps, stuff like that. So we're really comfortable together. It's been great, you know, getting his feedback on what I can do better and uh, and vice versa. So really comfortable right now with him, um, with Zach Wood as well. That's a big deal. Um, the, the snapper punter holder relationship um, couldn't be any better right now. I know you said that you watched the Thomas Morstead film and everything. Yeah. Do you think if he doesn't get signed, we'll reach out to him during training camp throughout the year and can continue to have a relationship as long as he's not a competitor? Yeah, he, he's welcomed that. I mean, at the end of the day, you're competing against everybody. Free agents on the street, guys in camp. Um, so he was always here as a resource for me. He never really, you know, he was never really standoffish with me during camp last year, which is, you know, not something you expect from a veteran young guy trying to come in and take his job. Um, so that's just kind of the guy Thomas is. He's reached out to me a couple times this off season, and um, I've kind of done the same. So I look forward to kind of keeping that relationship. Like I know it's early in training camp, but what's the feel when you hit one right, and how often have you done it in training camp? I mean, obviously it feels good. I think it comes down to doing it every single time, like we talked about earlier, consistency. Um, you can hit one, one big punt out of five, and that's not going to get the job done. It needs to be three, four times, possibly five times out of five. Um, so I feel like I had two really good days so far. Um, obviously seeing the product outside and not being able to see it in here is a little bit different. But um, hopefully we're outside tomorrow and I can, I can do it again. Yeah, I think it, it comes down to preparation. That's kind of what, you know, any position, you talk about a consistent approach, um, visual, visualization exercises, how you uh, warm up and stuff like that. It gives me confidence that, that any time I come out in any situation, it's going to kind of be the same result. So that's, that's kind of what I strive for. More of a consider yourself more of a high ball kicker or? Yeah, I think, you know, I, what I think I bring to the table is a lot of versatility. So I can manipulate how I drop the ball and get a different result based on the situation. So um, wind is a big factor for me. Obviously playing at a dome is great, eight times a year, nine times a year, but the other eight games are outside. So being able to ma manipulate how I prepare and how I drop the ball um, kind of dictates, you know, where the punts can end up. I think you've answered this before, but <laughs> what did it mean to you last year when they made the decision to figure out a way to keep you here? Yeah, you know, it's obviously great to, to be with an organization like this. You know, Coach Payton runs a great, great organization. And um, just being around those guys all last year was very valuable for me. Um, obviously means a lot, but at the end of the day, I got to show up to training camp this year and perform. And that's what I felt like I've done so far and hope to continue to do. <laughs> with someone taking on such a big role, is that, I know a, a quick start is always a good thing, but especially in this situation, that a, that a, that a really good first month or so is, would kind of get you going? Yeah, I think obviously confidence is everything. And I'm a big believer in if you're not confident in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. So. That's where it starts for me. I think getting off to a, to a hot start is definitely part of that. But you know, if something if something happens, I, I've never had a perfect year punting the football. So if something goes wrong, um, kind of wiping the slate clean and, and being able to you know, come back and perform like I know how to.